Hey guys, this is Lady Hi-Fi. Um, today I'm going to review um, the Symphonized Wraith 2.0 uh, portable natural wood headphones. Um, I've had these for probably a good two or three weeks now with listening to them uh, very loud on my Fio um, and on my laptop and basically everywhere I go so I could get some burn in. And these are the headphones. Um, they look pretty nice. They feel very light, um, but still sturdy. Um, you can see that they have like some stainless steel going on to it. Looks pretty cool. It's a little bit of padding here, symphonized. Um, it's got the padding underneath. They're super comfortable. I've never had any issues. The ear pads are really, really soft. Um, you can tell that this is the left and this is the right. They don't really have much give as far as turning. Um, I think that I have a pretty small head because they seem to fit kind of loosely. So if I wiggle my head from left to right, they could possibly fall off if I'm like trying to dance or something, do something crazy with them. So, um, but I'm sure if anybody has a slightly bigger head than myself, then it would be really nice to have. Um, they, the pads are really, really soft. Uh, these come with two sets of these wires. So one of them has a microphone, which is this one, and the volume, um, the button here, so, and these are pretty cool. These are nice. These are made out of wood as well, if you can see that in the camera. Um, let's see. So I've got, let's see if it'll focus. Maybe not. So this is the left, and then this one's the right. And um, they're made out of really nice wood. And what they do is they click into place. So this says right, and then this one's right. So you put it in here, and you wait for it to snap hear that let me do the other one listen put it in here takes a little bit of force but at least you know it's going in there and it doesn't feel like even if you walked away and you forgot these were connected um, I bet you th that it's not going to disconnect at all um, and wood here it also came with another set of wires right here as you can see, this one doesn't have any microphone or anything on here. This is just uh, a regular wire. And what I love about these is every time I get some of these um, headphones is when they're shaped this way because that means when I grab it, I can grab it by all of this when I unplug or plug in instead of it being somewhat like this on this end because I always feel like I'm stripping the wire or I'm pulling the wire away from the uh, connector. So, um, but it, this one feels super sturdy. I have some other headphones, um, several other headphones actually, um, that this one, this one feels the sturdiest of all of them. Um, it came in this little plastic thing here. Whoops. Came in the plastic, just like that, inside, inside the box, just like this. And this is what the box looks like. Pretty cool box. Um, comes with all this information here. Let me move these out the way, so if you can read all of that, see that. So, um, yeah. Okay. So the sound. Let's get to the sound. Actually, I wanted to tell you that it comes with this pretty cool bag here, symphonized. It's made out of seems like I don't know some kind of hemp or burlap material. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a drawstring, but it's definitely not going to protect the headphones. I guess they just wanted to send something with the box so you could put your headphones in. Um, so the sound on these is super nice. Um, for wood headphones, they're really cool. Um, I turned up, I listened to it on my Fio right here. So, and I turned it up to 12 dBs. Um, at six, it sounds perfect, but I like, 
um, it being on 12 because, uh, I don't know, I feel like I get some better sound out of it. You can see that I turned up the bass because I like bass on certain songs, and I listen to a lot of dubstep, um, a lot of pop music, occasionally some country, um, and some, I don't know, some alternative. I love indie. So I listen to a lot of types of music, so I'm always adjusting up or down, more bass, less treble. So the gain here is at 6. That's what I left it at when I was last listening to it. The bass was at 8, and I left the treble the way it was. Although I did turn it up to like 6 or 8, and it still sounded perfectly fine. Um, so, uh, let's see what else, other settings. Gain at 6, and I did um, put it up to 12. Max volume is 60, but I had it about, let's say, 30. So about half of that. And I did feel some, it felt like I had some, um, I felt like the... The speakers or the bass or something in here felt like it was coming alive um, the more I turned it up. So I could feel like trembling on my ear and I put my hands up to the actual headphones um, and I could feel the bass in there. It sounds super clear and super nice. So you don't really have to go and spend, I don't know, like three, four hundred dollars on some good headphones. Like these are perfectly fine. And I've got several others that I'm going to be reviewing. But like this, I mean, the only thing that I ever had a problem with is that I feel like I have a small head. And like I said, um, I'm, I, I feel as though that these are not going to stay on my head for very long um, if I move around. So, but they are comfortable. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm sitting on my computer at my computer or my laptop, um, walking around with my phone. They sound amazing. So don't think that you have to always spend, you know, three or $400 on some headphones, unless you're like a collector. And I like collecting headphones and seeing the different ones. And I also review, um, you know, DAX and amps and headphones and all the, all kinds of other things that you're going to be seeing here soon. Um, so I think these are perfectly fine. If your kid has, I don't know, wants to get some fancy headphones and there you don't want to spend the money just yet because you don't know whether they're going to take care of them, I would definitely get them these. They're going to be so happy with them that they're probably not going to need anything else for a really long time. Um, and they're wooden, so, you know, and I don't, I don't like taking my headphones apart, so um, I'm not going to go inside these headphones at all. So, you know, they're very stylish, so... I think that, you know, any kid or any teenager or even adult um, like myself or you, you know, will definitely enjoy these. And like I said, the bass, um, everything is pretty neutral, I would say, um, unless you add like, you know, an amplifier or a DAC or something like that and then kind of adjust the, the levels and stuff. Um, it does have some nice bass right out of the box, but I wouldn't call it heavy. I would say, I don't know, maybe medium or so. So it depends on what kind of music you listen to. So country would be perfectly fine. Um, but if you listen to a lot of pop music or dubstep or EDM or, you know, stuff like that, that's pretty bass heavy to be able to feel the music. Um, you probably need to get like an amplifier um, and add it to it. Um, but these Fios are really good investments um, because you can adjust it to every song. You can go up or down. You know, you don't need so much bass on a country song or whatever other song. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can definitely go up or down with it. So anyways, so these are great. So if you like this review, um, or if I'm missing something, let me know. I can definitely tell you about it. Um, these are symphonized, um, like the box here says, um, I don't know how to say this. I, I guess it's Wraith at 2.0. Um, and they are wooden headphones, so, um, but they sound absolutely amazing. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day.